the clock and the band is full and the chest. Like this. With a lad. Anybody that needs a test gets a test. We, they're there. They have the test. And the tests are beautiful. Sixty percent is the sort of figure you need to get herd, herd I mean, immunity. I mean, even with that, even looking at the sort of the best case scenario, I know we were talking last week and you were saying, you know, half of one percent to one percent fatality in something like this. That's an awful lot of people dying in this country. Well, I mean, of course, we do face the prospect of, of as the Prime Minister said yesterday, of uh, an increasing number of people dying. That is a real prospect. This is a... It's going to disappear. One day it's like a miracle. It will disappear. And from Hi folks, I want to bring you up to speed on something that's happening today, which is that I've developed mild symptoms of the coronavirus, that's to say a temperature and a persistent cough. And on the advice of the Chief Medical Officer, I've taken a test that has come out. Folks, quick update for me on the campaign against coronavirus. First of all, in my own case, uh, although I'm feeling better and I've done my, my seven days of isolation, alas, I still have uh, one of the symptoms and minor symptoms. I, have, I still have a temperature and so... Quite frankly, this is going to be our Pearl Harbor moment, our 9-11 moment, only it's not going to be localized. It's going to be happening all over the country. And I want America to understand that. But... Shannon didn't share all of the information they had. Instead, it covered up how dangerous the disease is. It didn't report sustained human-to-human -human transmission for a month until it was in every province inside of China. It censored those who tried to warn the world. It ordered a halt to testing of new samples and it destroyed existing samples. The CCP still has not shared the virus sample from inside of China with the outside world, making it impossible to track the disease's evolution.